Google Palm API is absolutely free alternative to open AI. You can build powerful applications using Palm API for free. And it comes with its own embedding model as well. That means you can develop information retrieval system using Palm API and many other applications as well. In this video, I will show you how to assess Palm API and use this in Python. Google Palm API is available as a part of Google Maker Suite. So let me show you how you can get your own API key. So I will just go over here. So I will just click on get your API key. So to get the API, API key, you need to request for the access. So after you request for the access of the API key, you will get the, uh, you will have the access to the API key within six to seven hours. So you can just create a API key in new project from here, or you can create API key in existing project as well. So it will not generate API key. So this will take few seconds. So now you can see over here, API key is generated. So you can just copy this. Over here, you can see that I have just created three different API keys. So you can use a simple, a single API key in your different projects as well. So let us uh, use this API key and let's uh, write some Python code. Okay, so now over here, you can see I have just uh, created a notebook file over here. And in this uh, notebook file, I will show you a text summarization example as well. We will provide some input text and using Palm API, we will generate a summary of that text. Okay, so first of all, you just need to install Google Generative AI package. So by just running this cell, you will be able to install the Google Generative AI package. So this might take a few seconds uh, before it's done. Now the package is installed. Uh, generative Google Generative AI package. Now we'll import the required library Palm from Google Generative AI. Then here, over here, I will just pass my own API key. You can just pass your own API key after generating the API key from developers Google. So here I've just passed my own API key. So now I uh, Google uh, Palm API consists of uh, different models. But in this example, I am concerned with that text generate uh, generation model. So here I will just uh, write generate text model. So I'm just concerned with the text generation model. And this will provide me all the models that are available uh, in Google Pay Palm API, which are text generation models. So uh, it will give me the text generation model that from the list of models that are available under Google Palm API. So over here, so now you can see that this is the text generation model that is available under a Google Palm API. So you can see that uh, this is the only text generation model. Test Respond 001 is the only text generation model that is available under Google Palm API. So I will be using this uh, text response beyond 001 model. The input, uh, it has an input token limit of 8096 token and the output token limit is 1024 tokens. So you can just check more details on the uh, Google Palm website. So I've just saved the model name in this model variable over here. And over here, I've just passed the input prompt over here. So you can see that here, I'm just using few short prompts. So I've just pro uh, written over here, provide a summary of this paragraph by including all necessary information. So this is the text over here. You can see this is an, a summary of this text. So this is a text and this is a summary of this text. So here we have around 164 words and the summary has what 94 words. So you can see that this uh, here we have 164 words and in the summary we have 94 words. So this is an example text and this is the example summary. And over here we have the text the COVID-19 pandemic is necessary a Google global shift to online learning while researchers have examined the impact of remote learning. So we are just providing this text and let's see whether we are able to generate the summary of this text or not. So here you can see that I'm just uh, generating, the, generating the summary of that text. So here I'm just passed my model in as the input. So okay, model name, this is, and here I've just passed a prompt, set the temperature value to 0 0.3. So temperature value varies from 0 to 1. Okay, so if you are generating some code, then you can set the temperature value high. Like uh, if you set the temperature value high, it will generate a very concise response. So uh, if the temperature value is low, so it means it will take bets. It might generate raw response, but it will be very creative. 
So here we are just creating some text so we can keep the temperature value low. And the, and the maximum number of output tokens is uh, 800. So it, 800 tokens means we in one token we have four English characters. So our output will have maximum uh, 3200 English characters. So you can just vary this as well. And uh, here we have the summary. Now if I just run this. So this COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic forced a global shift to online learning. This study explored elementary teachers' uh, uh, perceptions of teaching online during the pandemic. So I've just checked this. Uh, this uh, our this text contains 189 words, uh, and in the summary we get 39 words. So we have a got a concise summary, and here we I've just shown you a text summarization example using Google Palm API.